it's Mitten, and today we are going to be making F-cans. I love F-cans, they are so delicious. And first you need to do two things. One, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And two, check out my awesome dress from Carbon Soldier. I love it so much, it's amazing. You should check out their website, link below. <coughs> You'll need 200 grams of butter, half a cup of sugar, one and a quarter cups of flour, quarter cup of cocoa, and two cups of cornflakes. Now get out a big mixing bowl and beat together your butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Now sift in your flour and cocoa, then stir it into the mixture. Oh, butter hands. Oh gosh, oops. Now fold in your cornflakes. All at once. Or... How on earth are you supposed to mix the food? Now this is looking good, thanks mum, and my hands are clean, let's put them on a prepared baking tray. And when I say a prepared baking tray, I mean with baking paper on top. Now I could use a spatula and spoon to do this, but sometimes using your clean hands is easier. You need about this much. Now my hands are clean again, push the afghans down on the fork so they keep their shape in the oven. Oh, and also, if you haven't noticed yet, these afghans are biscuits, not dogs. Now put them in the oven for 15 minutes or until set. Remember, be careful, the ovens are really hot. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. Okay, the timer's not running at 15 minutes. Get an adult to help you take them out of the oven and put them on a wire rack. Now, let's make the icing. You will need a mixing bowl, two cups of icing sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, quarter teaspoon of butter, quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence, and about two tablespoons of boiling water in a cat cup. Now sift in your icing sugar and cocoa. Now add in your butter and vanilla essence. I saw it here. Mix it up and add your boiling water in small bits at a time.
this is looking good. Now let's ice some biscuits. Mmm, delicious. Now usually Afghans are topped with chocolate icing and walnuts, but we're going to change it up a little bit and change the walnuts to Jaffa's. Start with the chocolate layer first. As you could see, that was taking forever, so I got mum to help a little. Thanks again. Now, we're going to crush these Jaffas and put them on top, but as you can see, they are really hard, so we have no idea how we're going to do it. We'll just experiment. Well, that worked, but I made a bunch of holes in the bag with that thing, so yeah. And now for the final touch, sprinkle the crushed Jaffas, Jaffas on top of them. to eat them. Come on, Peppa, come eat them. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my God. Okay, and off he goes again. Whoa, do you know what Jaffa stands for? What does Jaffa stand for?